Hello, and welcome to AIM International's Preparatory Tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a Certified AIM Training Instructor in the realm of Content Process and Information Management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is Enterprise Search a key part of this special certification, which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Access and Use Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll cover the three major types of infrastructure search homogeneous search, federated search, and universal search. The next few slides will take these one at a time. A homogeneous search engine uses the same technology on many different information sets. For example, separate instances of Search Tool X are ingrained in three document management applications, your ERP system and your corporate intranet. In this scenario, you'd be creating separate indices for each application. The Enterprise Search Single Query Interface would accept the query, broker it out to all the separate application indices, and then merge the results set. Federated Search orchestrates search not only across multiple repositories, but involves separate and distinctively different search engines. For example, Search Tool X is used to index your document management system, Search Tool Y indexes your email, and Search Tool Z indexes your web-based content. In the federated search model, one search engine is selected as the master or orchestrator. It accepts the query and passes it on to the heterogeneous search engines running within each repository. It then synthesizes and rationalizes the multiple result sets. A publicly available example of federated search is the website merlot.org, shown here, which provides a central facility for finding educational resources across multiple sites. Universal Search uses a single search tool to create a single index across any and all enterprise repositories, regardless of whether these individual repositories have their own application search. In essence, it disregards any other search tools. Now, in each of the aforementioned cases, it's important to realize that users typically are able to specify how many or which repositories they wish their query to be executed against. The default is usually all, but it doesn't have to be that way. This module has taken us on a tour of the three major types of infrastructure search, which are homogeneous search, federated search, and universal search. Next, you may wish to review the module on the different kinds of functional search techniques like parametric, keyword, and semantic and pattern. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.